win wars. Guts. What happens if you dive on a grenade? This is not just a movie trope. Throughout history, lives have been saved by the brave actions of individuals who have chosen to cover a grenade with their body to protect others around them. Most hand grenades have a timed fuse, meaning when they land, it's possible for a soldier to have a second or maybe even two to respond. To use this second to dive on a grenade can certainly save the lives of others in the area. The human body can absorb the explosive and fragmentation effect of most hand grenades, which carry between 50 and 200 grams of explosive. Most importantly, the shielding of fragmentation can save the lives of people up to 200 meters away. The human body, basically a sandbag of water and bone, is so effective at absorbing these small explosives that a few soldiers who have done this, though perhaps tragically, did not die immediately, though some in fact survived, either due to luck or body armor. Like that. They took a photo of my keister for stars and stripes. In World War II, Marine Jack Lucas in the Battle of Iwo Jima lived after diving on two hand grenades. He was able to partially stuff one of the grenades into the soft ground, and the second, which he grabbed with his hand, did not explode. He lived until the age of 80, though spent the rest of his life with 200 pieces of shrapnel in his body. Uh, only one went off. The one uh, tore me up pretty bad. Finally, another outfit moving up saw me, and I kept moving the fingers on my left hand to indicate, to let somebody know I was still alive. In Afghanistan in 2008, a British Royal Marine, Matthew Croucher, used his rucksack to pin a tripwire grenade to the floor. His rucksack, along with his body armor, saved his life, along with at least one other life he was on patrol with. He was either pick it up, throw it, run away, or, or lie down beside it, I think. In the film Act of Valor, the grenade diving scene is inspired by a real sacrifice made by Navy SEAL Michael Monsoor, who dived on a grenade to save those fighting alongside him. In real life, Monsoor passed away about half an hour later from his wounds. He was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor for saving the lives of two of his teammates. Monsoor was in a position where he was the first man to witness the grenade, therefore able to die for cover, but he chose instead to act to save others. Petty Officer Mansoor chose instead to protect his teammates. Instantly, and without regard for his own safety, he threw himself onto the grenade to absorb the force of the explosion with his body. Some people might wonder why, like in the movies, doesn't a soldier just simply throw a grenade back? This was something that was extremely rare. If you see a grenade landing near you or at your feet, you likely have less than a second to react. It is far faster to jump on a grenade than to try to pick one up and throw it. A further risk is if it explodes mid-air in front of you after you throw it. Grenades can be more deadly if they explode at chest or head height. Ultimately, it is not fair to judge someone for reacting the way they react, under what is literally a split-second life or death decision. In the film Hacksaw Ridge, another Medal of Honor recipient, Desmond Doss, is shown attempting to knock and kick away a grenade, again only acting on instinct. He suffered 17 shrapnel wounds and lived. Doss, a World War II medic, throughout the engagement at Hacksaw Ridge, saved and aided up to 100 wounded infantrymen. And on May the 2nd, Doss, when I was wounded in the face, you gave me a morphine shot and bandaged my head and led me back to that cargo net. Five days later, I, had, I was wounded very seriously in the left lung and left knee. And uh, Doss was the only medic left at that time. He came down and gave me courage and dressed my wound. Gave first aid to the other three men that were hit with me. He sent us back and he remained there under fire. Doss, I owe you my life. Alright, I'm Johnny. Kind of a sad but hopefully inspiring video showcasing some very brave men. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a nice rest of your day.